Hello and welcome back to another netcast with Quantrix Authority, Rich Lopez. I'm excited that you joined me today and I'm excited to share with you episode 6, hashtag category, pound sign category, or number sign category. This is a great functionality in Quantrix that allows us to identify really row IDs or column IDs of categories. For instance, I have here a dimension date matrix. It's got financial date as my category and it's got some items across the top here that are associated with that date. If I want to be able to identify row IDs with this, I simply use the hashtag and then the category name. So for instance, I'm going to call this new item row ID. I would say row ID is equal to hashtag financial, I'll click on it, financial date. Once I hit enter, I need to change the formatting of that but you can see here that it increments by one for every row. So you would say that on 426, 14, that is found on row 16 of the data set for that category. Also, of course, it can be used with other categories. Say I were to put in another one here, and I would call this column ID. In order to find that, I go down here, type column ID equals hashtag item like so and that will show me that column ID is actually in the one two three four fifth column as it states here so great functionality in that you can then use this hashtag financial date or hashtag category in a select statement so for example I have here a drop down of financial dates coming from this category is how I'm constraining my input of course and say I want to select 629. I want to find what position or what row ID that is on. I would go position equals select uh, hashtag financial date. Uh, what is my lookup value or what is my lookup range? My lookup range is this financial date helper and what am I looking up? I'm looking up this financial date here and we would see that it is actually in position 6 so if I find 6 here I would see that it is 629. If I go ahead and I change that again to something else, say I just do to 2, that would bring back this this row ID here. So very awesome functionality using this pound sign uh, with your category name to bring back either the row ID or the column ID in Quantrix Modeler. If you have any questions that you need answered concerning Quantrix Modeler, please feel free to ask me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Quantrix Author, as well as feel free to post any comments on my YouTube channel and I will uh, try to answer your questions. I absolutely love Quantrix and believe it's essential and would be more than happy to help you out with it. Until next time, enjoy Quantrix.